I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and for the first time, something is holding up my camera, so I don't have to hold it. Um, I just wanted to say I read somewhere that uh, the coronavirus stays on metal. I don't know if that's true or not. I just thought I'd pass that on in case it does. I received uh, something in the mail today. I'll show you tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. And, uh, you know, we had our groceries delivered from Aldi because we were really concerned about going to the grocery store. So it worked out well, you know. The only thing that made it really expensive was the tip I left. But I had to leave a tip, you know, for the young people who shopped for me. I thought that was very nice that they did that. And, uh, you know, with the coronavirus going on and everything. Mm -hmm. I disinfected. Well, I tried to disinfect everything, but I didn't. So I know better now in case I ever use that service again. Um, let's see what else did I want to say. Um, so let's see. Um, uh, yes. So enough about the coronavirus. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm so tired of reading about it and hearing about it. I just want it to be over already. It'll pass because every pandemic passes, but I just want it to pass already and be done. I really do. You know, I want this over and I'm sure a lot of you want the same thing because, you know, self-isolating and, and doing all sorts of, you know, maneuvering around grocery stores and whatever, that's all very annoying, you know, so I hope it ends soon, but I don't know when it's going to end, it seems like, I don't, well, I don't know when it's going to end, anyway, uh, but I believe in my heart and my soul that the world will be better off after it's over, not because people died, because that's terrible, I don't want anyone to die. I want the whole world to heal and no more death. But because people had to pull together and understand that life as we knew it changed dramatically and it can change in an instant like that. Because ultimately, you know, Jesus is in charge and life can change. Life can change. So, I just wanted to say that, and we can all appreciate what we had and what we're going to have, again, much more than, uh, than we have appreciated it before. And I just wanted to say, you know, it's a good idea to get on the phone with someone and review a vlog you know, just talk about the vlog or because everybody can get to the vlogs. You may not have, uh, you may not have the same stations on your television. So for watching TV, I mean, it's, it's, an, it's a nice thing to distract yourself and you can watch the, the updates or the news about the president and the news and just discuss it. Or you can just forget about that for a little while and, uh, you know, watch the vlogs and discuss that or watch TV and discuss that, you know, it's a good escape. It is a good escape. I would recommend clean shows. So that's all I'm saying, but I know this world isn't quite there yet. So, I'm just saying that. Uh, and then, I also want to say, I hope that everybody has been taking this time to really, really sit and think about the movies that are out there. And the, okay, so I'm hearing that it's all over social media. 
So I hope so. I don't get news. I don't see the truth. I only get little bits and pieces of what's going on. So I hope, and I get lied to a lot. So I hope really it is all over social media and people are realizing the kind of stuff the Hollywood is putting on TV and in the movies. I hope so. And then, you know, what else did I want to say? I wanted to say a lot of things. I am, um, I'm waiting on some fabric. And I'm going to make a pair of pants and a skirt out of the fabric. Hopefully, they turn out okay. And uh, I can do it. But uh, I'm still a beginner. So, we'll see how they turn out. You know? I don't want to waste the fabric or ruin the fabric by making something that doesn't fit or does it's not sewn well. You know? I've been watching online how to do seams, you know, so they stay put. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to use one of the techniques to do the seams. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how the, how the skirt and the, and the pants turn out. We'll see. I had some leftover little blingy things, and I think I'll make a red ring out of the fabric with the little blingy things. I hope, uh, I hope it turns out well, you know, so I will do that, and, uh, I don't know, I mean, oh, and then, you know, my latest thing, oh, I already told, I already said it. That I want to make a pair of shoes. And I found most of the stuff on Amazon for very, that's very inexpensive compared to other sites. And I am waiting until the stimulus check to see whether or not I'm going to buy it. I may not buy it now because I need to save my money and I'm not going to make a pair of shoes for a while. So... I, I may not buy it now, but I may. It's all. It all depends on uh, on whether or not I can get, you know, enough to at least start the shoes, you know. I already have a space picked out where I'm gonna make it the shoemaking station, and that's in one of the closets because it's big, it's huge, and. It'll fit a, a small table and uh, some chairs. So And it has lighting. It has good lighting. So I think I'm going to use that space for baking shoes. So I'll show you it when it's complete. I can't drink while I'm not. Okay. Uh, anyway... What else? Hold on, I'm going to pause this so I can take a drink of my beverage. It's water. You know, I read uh, blogs on blogger blogster.com and a lot of people talk about how nervous they are, how, how nervous they are about the coronavirus. And, you know, I am too. I'm very nervous. I am afraid because I live with my mother who's elderly and, you know, she's vulnerable and she has underlying health conditions, you know, and I really am afraid that I'll bring it in the house and give it to her because I do go to the store every once in a while. So, I mean, I went to um, Save-A-Lot today and they had disinfecting spray and 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 towels paper towels and so i uh i sprayed down my vat i sprayed down the paper towels i got a big paper towel and i sprayed it completely so it was drenched and then i wiped down my bag and then i went to the aisle and i bought pop and i wiped down each pop before i put it in the bag and then I went, except for the bottom. 
So, and the bag was on the floor, so the bottom got, you know, dirty too. So then I went and I got uh, oatmeal and I put, I disinfected that too with the, with the cloth, with the, with the paper towel. And I had my face mask on and I still was very, very paranoid. And then I went to check out and she only took one pop, but I wiped it down before I put it back in the bag. And she touched the oatmeal and I wiped that down. And then on my way out, I took the the sanitizing spray and just sprayed it in the bag. I just sprayed everything in the bag, all of, all of it. So, I mean, I didn't get the bottoms of the pop, but I, I will before I drink them. So, I just wanted to say that because I am really, 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 really not happy about not being super safe. So, I try to be super, super safe when I go out in public. I try very hard. And I would share with you, uh, I saw on, I saw on YouTube how to make a face mask out of a bandana. And it's pretty good. It works really well. Only sometimes it's, it suffocates me because it's so thick. But, uh, I might cut some of the fabric off and just leave it like that, you know, because it is really thick and sometimes I feel like I can't breathe because it's on me. But I still have the uh the wash rag that I made the face mask out of and I'm gonna use that from now on. What else did I wanna say? So that's that and uh you know, I just hope everybody stays safe. I hope I just want this to end. I'm praying for, I'm not praying for time because I can't pray, but I hope if I could pray, I would pray for it to end. But all my men are praying for, everyone with me is praying for it to end. Everyone with me is praying and I'm, I would like to pray for them and they say they're praying for me and the world. Okay. The world should, uh, I want it to heal. I want the world to heal. I want the world to come back from this coronavirus stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. You know? I do. I want them to come back stronger. I want the world, everyone to come back stronger than ever. And um, I also wanted to say that... I've seen people that say, come hang out with me, come hang, and they do like a live blog, a live vlog, and you know, I haven't, I said this before, but I'm saying it again, I haven't really hung out with you or kept you company because I'm blocked, and I know Easter is coming up, and Good Friday is coming up, and I would love to spend time with you on those two days. Just so you see what I'm doing on Easter because, you know, we're not really going anywhere. We're not doing anything with anyone. So, I mean, I, I'm i going to try to keep myself busy, you know, and I'll probably, if I can pray, I will pray, you know. And I will, tomorrow is uh, Palm Sunday and the churches are closed. So that's very sad. It's very sad to me. And, uh, you know, I really, I really don't even know what to say anymore, except that I just hope it ends soon. That's all I can say. But if I can, I will keep you company on those two days, but I don't know if I'll be unblocked by that time. And hopefully I will. You know, and everybody's praying that I get unblocked and that for me to get better and for, uh, for the world, for the world to heal. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to say that a few things about 
you know, spending time with your friends over the phone, you know, because sometimes you don't have enough to talk about, you know, or it's all doom and gloom. So it's a nice thing. I did it so many times and it was really nice. Oh, and with my friend, with one of my friends, we got the same catalog. The I forgot what the name of the catalog was, a uh, fashion catalog. And we would, um, it was J. Jill. And we would go through the catalog and talk about all the things we saw and how much we liked it. If we liked it, we talked about it. If we didn't like it, we said, well, we don't like it that much. And we say we would say why. And then we'd move on to the next one. And then if we disagreed, we'd kind of like, you know, I'd, if I were, if I liked it, I'd make my case. If she hated it, she would make her case and vice versa. And then, uh, but we went through the entire catalog and it was a good way to spend time and relax and all that. So, I mean, if you get catalogs and someone else gets the same catalog, that's a good thing to do. Or if you get magazines and someone else gets magazines, that's a good thing to do too. Like if you're a sportsman, and you get, like, a sportsman magazine, then, you know, it's good to get... Because I'm not sure, but I think it's a little more difficult for men to come up with things to talk about to other men. I'm not sure... Okay, it is. It is. That's what I'm being told. It's more difficult for men to come up with things to talk about with other men if they're not together in the same room, you know, over the phone. So... You know, if you're a sportsman, then you can, uh, you ha if you have a sportsman magazine and someone else does, then you can go through the magazine together and just say, or just pick out a few articles and, and say, did you see this or pictures or whatever, pictures of new, um, I don't know, hunting gear or, uh, or I'm not, a, I'm against hunting, but it's legal. Anyway, new hunting gear or new fishing rods or whatever, you know, you can just talk about that and that should keep you occupied for a while, you know, and whatever, any kind of magazine. I don't recommend a lot of magazines because they're impure, but like I said before, this world isn't ready to give it all up. So I just recommend that. But catalogs were great for me. I loved going through the catalogs and just, you know, wish buying. <laughs> and just saying, oh, I love this or I hate this. And we would discuss it. That was fun. That was a lot of fun to do that. That was a lot, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So I'm just, you know, making that suggestion in case, you know, you really don't want to watch TV with someone else. Maybe you can do something like that. You know? Maybe you can do something like that. Or, you know, another friend of mine and I decided to write haikus. And uh, we didn't share them over the phone. Well, I think we did. I think we shared some haikus over the phone. And we loved it. <laughs> we just wrote haikus and we shared them. And, you know, we loved it. We got silly with the haikus. And, you know, we we wrote some serious ones that were really good. And Well, I didn't, but my friend did. And, uh, and we loved it. We said, okay, this is going to be haiku day. So we did. We wrote haikus and we shared them. And that was a lot of fun, you know. So you could always do something like that or more serious poetry. Well, the haikus are serious. Uh, longer poetry, you know, different kinds of poetry would be fine, you know, or writing, writing would be okay. You know, I know that there are writing groups and I don't know. I really don't know if the writing group, well, they're not meeting anymore, but I don't know if the writing groups are meeting online and that would be a good thing to do you know because on meetup.com they have all sorts of groups to meet up and lots of writing groups and it would be nice if the writing groups 
would, uh, you know, use whatever technology there is to everyone meet at the same time online and discuss the writing. That would be nice, you know, but I don't know if they do. They may, they may already do that, but I don't know. Um, and, uh, I don't know what else to talk about. It's already 20 minutes, so I used to, I try to keep it around 20 minutes. But, uh, so yeah, Easter is coming up and I'll be able to drink iced coffee again after Easter because I gave it up for Lent and I gave sweets up for Lent too. So I'll be able to eat sweets again. Although I really don't want sweets. I mean, I haven't really craved them that much during Lent. What I've craved is the iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. And I already told you about that. So, but I don't know. Well, anyway, I already told you about that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else to talk about. I, I will show you what I purchased when, uh, Tomorrow, I would have shown you today, but I read that uh, the coronavirus stays on cardboard for 24 hours. So I set the, I picked up the, the package and set it in the house and I'm leaving it there for 24 hours until I'm, until I'm sure the coronavirus is dead on it and it, it's off. You know, I'm just leaving it there. Anyway, um, I just want to say I hope everybody watching has a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right, bye.